because I think I have five minutes to myself to get this intro done for real without the two men in my life interrupting. See you later, I'm not trying to and look who comes in. I'm worried about the little one coming in, and it's this one, the big one, and my camera's almost dead. This is week two of the Minimalist Game. I am Clueless Mummy D, also known as Drea. I guess it should be Drea, also known as Clueless Mummy D. I don't know. Anyways, second week, no joke guys it was not easy i don't know what's happening here i feel like the first time i did this challenge which was in the spring i feel like second week was a lot easier than this one i don't know if it's because i'm like you know trying to get things ready for christmas i'm bringing some of my christmas stuff out and then i want to get rid of some of my fall stuff you're gonna see some of the stuff i got rid of for fall because my toddler broke most of my fall decor Anyway, so you'll see that in the video and I'm getting ready to do a clean and decorate with me for you guys. It's a collab that I love doing. So if that's your thing, subscribe and hear the ding when you hit the bell. It really should be a ding because you should be rewarded for hitting the bell because that's actually what makes you see my videos again. If you guys don't know what the minimalist game is, I think it's the funnest way to declutter. If you know a funner way to declutter, please let me know because I will be all about that. So what you do is on every day of the week or every day of the month, whatever the date is, that's how many items you get rid of. I'm on the second week. You are going to be seeing on the eighth day, I got rid of eight stuff. And then on the 13th day, which is today, I'm gonna to show you. So apparently I can't count what seven plus seven is and I totally thought the second week ended on day 13. So you guys are gonna see me talk like it's the last day of the week for the 13th and then you're gonna see the real last day of last week's minimalist game which is the 14th. Which is today I'm gonna show you right now a bag that I discovered that I used to use and haven't been in a long time and I'm sure I'm gonna grab. 13 things out of there. So anyways, I'm gonna do that with you. And if you really need some declutter motivation before the Christmas season, that's what's happening here. There's a playlist below and you can click on that and there's a bunch of really cool channels decluttering. So if you like cleaning videos and decluttering and you just need that motivation, make sure you check out the playlist. So I think I blabbered on enough. I'm gonna show you guys right away what I did already and then we'll pop back here and we'll finish today's decluttering. So it is week, well, it's week two, but day one of week two, which is November 8th. I'm gonna be getting rid of some clothing. There's this fuchsia top that I've had like forever. Um, you know, it's just, I've had it too long. I think it's time to let it go and it's out of style. This is a nursing bra that I wore during my first pregnancy and it never fit me on my second pregnancy. And I think I'm done with babies. So I'm not having that anymore. This is actually, I've had this a long time. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, this, the thread is coming out. But I used to wear this beanie when I was young. I'll see if my daughter likes it, but I don't think she will. So I will be donating that. And this is a tank top that's really pretty with something underneath it, but it's always too low and I end up like flashing people. So getting rid of that. So I need eight items in total. And I've got it. So this here is, it's actually a nice tank top and everything, but it does the same thing. It just goes too low on me. And then, yeah, and then I'm like a little hoe bag. I don't want to be a little hoe bag, okay? Cause I'm not a hoe bag. And we've got this same thing. When I was pregnant, I wore this to bed and now it's just letting it all hang out. I got a lot of letting it all hang out including this top, which is the eighth item. I'm going to be getting rid of that. And it just had like this lace going on, not lace, sorry, it tied up in the front. And I just was never comfortable wearing that. So that is eight things to the donation pile. It is time to tackle our shoes. I actually got a couple new shoes, which I will show you guys. So I'm gonna go and get rid of some shoes. I probably won't have nine pairs, but it will be a good start. Okay, so here is what I managed to get from the shoe category. 
I don't know. I haven't worn those. I bought them secondhand. I haven't worn the sandals. These are too small for me. I'm sick of forcing my foot in them. Um, these I was tempted to get rid of last time. Uh, the last time I did the minimalist challenge and I didn't, but now I'm going to because I haven't worn them since. These are literally just collecting dust. This is an ugly slipper my husband doesn't wear. And my son has this thing where he makes shoes go missing. We just got him new Nikes and we can only find one. And so I could only find one of these, this and this. So, you know, I can't deal with it. I am keeping the Nikes and hopeful that they will show up before he grows out. And this was a shoe box that for some reason was saved in the shoe area and some random socks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we'll call that nine. I want to show you guys my new boots though. Oh my gosh. So these are my new boots, guys. Ugh, my dog's hair gets everywhere, but I love them and they're super comfy. I got them in two colors because I love them so much. They're like heels that I can actually wear to work. And I like that you can actually wear them with like a dress, a cute dress. So, you know, I might do like a winter party dress idea video again. I did that last year. So we'll see. We'll see if you guys see these. Okay, so it's November 10th and I hit the jackpot. I just remembered in our storage area, I have these 10 linens for November 10th. I have 10 linens that we used at our wedding. I sold a lot of them already. Um, so I can totally sell these and they're in really good condition. So they're 90 by 90 and those are definitely getting decluttered and going to make some space. Good afternoon guys. November 11th is a day of random declutter and broken dreams. This is my dear son, my dear two year old toddler at work. This is some of my fall pumpkins that need to be trashed thanks to him. So I had this pumpkin on the stove and he smashed that like right away. Um, I had these pumpkins on this really nice sort of fall um, centerpiece that I made and yeah, he totally bit into them. Look, he actually has bitten into them. My son bit into them. And look at this one over here. I'm really hoping he doesn't die from eating that. <laughs> so I gotta just trash those. Um, then we have uh, this was the baby proof thing and he knows how to take things off so those are useless. Today was Remembrance Day in Canada where we remember the veterans. So the services are over for that. So I don't really need my poppy. I will have to buy it again next year anyways. So this is actually something my daughter made for me when she was little. You know when you feel like you have to hold on to things forever, but I think I have enough art and this is quite big and bulky. And I don't even think she finished it, so <laughs> that's gonna go. This is one of my niece's dolls that I actually borrowed for a video that I did a little joke in, but I'm gonna give her back to her, my nieces. And this continuing, if you guys saw last week's video, I was getting rid of these boxes because they're getting damaged. And this is, you know, I used to, before I had a case for my camera, I did a little hack and I would put this beer mug from the dollar store on the mug. So I actually bought this Intel, because I bought my camera secondhand. Right now I'm actually filming with my phone, but. I brought my vlogging camera second hand and I didn't have a case and I didn't want something to happen to it in the meantime. So I would tape this until I waited for my case to come in. This my son got at a birthday party and yeah, he's not gonna use the world's smallest notebook on the planet anytime soon. And this is, uh, this is like some cheap little video camera I bought on a bidding site and as you can see my son, has gotten a hold of it and scratched it and banged it. So, yeah, I think that's actually 12 items, but it is the 11th and that will do. All right, day 12, we're diving in to the old baby stuff. Are you helping me to clutter or are you part of the problem? Because that was all packaged together, buddy. Come on now. Okay, anyway, so there's gonna be at least 10 stuff in here. 
This is his old. Oh my gosh, be quiet. This is Camden. his old diaper. Not diaper. Oh my gosh. Not old diaper stuff. Seriously. Calm down. Okay, so this is old like bottle stuff. We've got one. I'll count the bags as all one thing, but you know, breast pump. Not breast. I can't even talk. Freezer bags. You I'm feeling Have you fed the dog? Oh my gosh. Have you fed the dog? Just give me one minute. Yes or no? Because I'm going to feed him some of this new food. No. He hasn't been fed. And we're feeding him the old food because it's already been open. we got to mix it, you Cracker Jacks. We can't just give him the new food right away. So I'm mixing it with the old food. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Chaos here. Now what? Now what? Look at their stuff everywhere. So actually I had a bonus because that was past 12 and we're throwing this stuff in here and we're just junking all this. This doesn't work anymore or else I would do it. So. What are you doing? Get that out of your mouth. You're not a little bitty baby anymore. You're not a little bitty baby. <laughs> Day 13. Okay, guys, I totally suck. I can't even count seven plus seven, and I thought the week ended at 13 days. So here is the true ending, which is day 14. Like, honestly, clueless mama D. Um, I gathered some, you know, speaking of clueless mama D again, I threw my son a Mickey Mouse birthday party and I forgot half of the decorations and totally had to improvise with how things set up and it all came together. But this is the stuff that I'm not going to use. We're not going to throw the same party for him. So one, two, uh, three, it's a little bubble thing, four, five. Six tablecloth, seven. Uh, there's three of these bowls here, eight, nine, ten. And there's actually a whole bunch of stuff in here, so I definitely made 13. These are some goody stuff. I'm definitely going to try to sell this as a lot. Might as well get a few bucks since it was a total waste of money, thanks to my lovely skills. This is the bag that I'm gonna declutter with you on the last day of this week right now. Um, I actually used to like this backpack until my dear godson vomited all over it in my car. Yeah, my dear friend Clueless Mummy D, her son did. She's got a channel too, I will show you guys that right now. There's old yucky raisins that were probably puked on. No, it didn't make it inside. And I did clean the outside, but the bag has never been the same. So raisins, yuck. A toother, yuck, garbage. These are socks that still fit my son and we can never find his little socks. You see my shot to the laundry basket? That was a total fail, even though I'm black. Old chapstick. No, I don't like it. It's time you get free from the dentist and it's like, ugh, it just feels horrible. Even though my lips are probably chapped right now. <gasps> Doggy bags, yes! We always need this. Oh, hand sanitizer. I can totally use that too. I'm not gonna get rid of that. Lots of receipts and crap. I'm gonna get rid of that right there. I don't need those. A cloth with a raisin on it to wipe my glasses. An old candy from the keg. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, baby. I know this bag can get to 13 items. Okay, comment below where are you guys at? Is your house decorated for Christmas or not? I got all my Christmas stuff. I cannot buy any more Christmas stuff. Seriously, I will not buy any more Christmas stuff. Ooh, I'm feeling lipstick. <gasps> Forgotten lipstick. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm excited about this. I found some lipsticks that I probably thought my little guy would see that. Um, so we got Makeup Studio lipsticks and L'Oreal jackpot. You see why it's so good to declutter? I'm so happy. More candies. Two more candies. So I think I have an addiction. This is a caramel cropper. Does garbage count? I'm getting desperate. It was a rough week. Week. Yeah, it's best not to just dig in the bottom of a bag. You can look at what's going on there. This is the raisin spilled, guys. We got an old tampon that's pretty banged up, like the wrapping that's going. Because I only made it to ten. Only made it. To oh, I'm getting rid of the bag. I'm gonna donate the bag. Is that gross? Comment below. I did clean it. I cleaned it thoroughly. I just can't get 
past the fact that he vomited all over it. It was like projectile vomit. I, this is grossing somebody out. I just know this. I'm sorry. Welcome to Clueless Mama D, where I make you feel nauseous. I'm gonna donate this bag and I'm not gonna feel bad about it unless you guys really lay it into me in the comments and then maybe I'll feel bad. Maybe that's nasty. You know what? I'm gonna throw it away. Where am I? I'm going to go find two more items right now. I got two items. And my son's back. The first item is um, this picture. It's super pixelated. I don't know why it's bad quality, but it looks really horrible up front. It's a really good memory, and I think we can get a better copy of it. Yes, you can have it, sweetie. And then the second thing is this nursing pillow. I'm gonna have to find the outside of it. Um, but this was, oh, I loved this nursing pillow. Like you can sleep with it and everything like that. No hand sanitizer. So that is the second thing that makes 13 items for the end of week two. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and check out the playlist. Did you want to say something, honey? No, I can't be at the baby. All right, love you, lovelies. Mm.